I think for maybe unnoble reasons I went into painting because uh, one can make a lot more money and get a lot more respect for painting because, you know, you know, as photography is still relatively a new art, it, um, it also is treated as such. A lot of people don't understand what it is and it's not collected as, as widely as, as painting. And a lot, there's a question of originality. It's like, um, well, you know, how many are you going to make? You made a, a negative and uh, you can make a million of them. Although, you know, the reality of it is, is the editions in photography are generally much smaller than, than standard print editions. But anyway, I, I didn't want to spend my life, you know, fighting to make photography, you know, a legitimate art. I mean, I know it's accepted, you know, on some levels, but uh, I just didn't want to, you know, take that battle because um, I'm more interested in, in creation than, than trying to, you know, make a place for my creation. So I went into painting, and but I carried a lot of the baggage from uh, my photography period into the painting. So there's there's huge influences, which a actually I think you know doing all those years of photography, it actually enabled me to to create you know very quickly create my own turf in painting because I had all this background of photography where everybody else that was going into painting had a background of painting and drawing. So I had a background of, of drawing and photography. So I, I got to bring something new to painting, and the uh, the paintings that ended up launching me and uh, you know giving me a reputation and stuff were um, my pop paintings. And the reason I decided to do pop art was um, well, basically I th I thought well I live in New York City, you know, and my my life is is this kind of it's all about culture. And um, like if I lived in Colorado, say, you know, I would paint mountains because that's my environment. That's you know my surroundings, but here, you know, I live in the middle of the media, you know, I watch TV basically for 12 hours a day, you know, and read magazines, and the only thing I really have to look at, you know, my mountains are these big buildings, and they're all covered with posters, and a lot, you know, which are basically all these people trying to get my attention and everyone else's attention, you know, like come to my show, come to my, my, my concert, watch my TV thing, so um, instead of like resisting all this, you know, I embraced it, and I, I turned like you know, Madison Avenue's, um, you know, way of techniques, you know, instead of like rebelling against them, I use them for myself. Came to New York, I started, th there's a thing that people do here, and, and mostly high school kids do it, but it's kind of a way of, of, of um, making people aware, or you, you know, in your neighborhood, it's sort of giving yourself like some kind of fame thing or, or status thing. And this thing they do is tag, and it's just like you make up a little thing for your name. And then you just do it really fast everywhere, and the, you know the more ground you cover, the more quote known you are, and uh, it's kind of a way for these poor disenfranchised type of people, you know, to have some kind of name and status, you know, in a world that's basically run by people in limousines and corporations that they have absolutely no access to. Um, so I, you know, I I really like the idea of that. So um, I also came up with my own tag, and I I wanted to come up with something that I could do. You know, of course, it's something that you have to do very fast, but I wasn't, you know interested in writing my name, I thought maybe my, my tag would be more of some kind of message that, you know, would be positive. And what I came up with was these two amphibians, you know, embracing and they become a heart. So, so it's kind of a symbol, like, of course, you know, a symbol of, um, you know, obviously of love, but also of um, evolution and uh, evolution of thought, I was thinking, because, um, well, to me, an amphibian represents uh, an evolution thing. They're, they're born as, a, as a, basically a fish or a tadpole type of thing and they actually go through a stage of the evolutionary process and become, you know, land creatures with, with, with legs and everything. So my little amphibians, sometimes they're just, you know, little teardrop um, fish type of things. And then, you know, sometimes they're full-fledged lizard looking things. So that's something I played around with on the streets. I think street art is a, a big plus, okay? I think it, because what it does is it, it, it gets First of all, it's, it's something that, that anybody who has a desire to do it, they'll, they'll do it, they can do it, okay? And you'll see, you know, you walk around, like sometimes, I walk around in Soho because there's a lot of it in Soho, and I like to look around, and, and when I was painting the dogs a few years ago, I would see stuff that was really good, really, like, unbelievable. And six months after I'd see it on the street, I would see its influence in the galleries, okay? And it made me realize that this is basically, it's not the, um, you know, the art world is like, is, is, it's, they're trying to make it palatable for somebody else, you know, for something else. But when it's the street art, a lot of the street art was the thing that was, that was really coming, you know, was, was the cutting edge. If you have art classes in school, you will, you will keep a lot of them in school and you keep a lot of them, you'll open up 
uh, um, the desire to learn. Okay, art can do that. Art can teach. Art's very powerful like that, and it's it's treated as a very light um, piece. Art is one of the first sciences. It's, it's the it's the pre-science. Okay, it's the it's the it's the vague science. It's the science where you um you can you can conjure up things. Okay, and out of that other things happen. Just think that what you got to do is you have to have better pro art programs in the schools and, and it just, it's something that will will help. It will help society a hell of a lot and it's not that big an investment. I mean, it's cheaper than, than running a, a judicial system. They rather spend a lot of money on, the, on, on prisons than, than schools and um, what they should do is have art classes and, and good art classes in the public school system and good art history and stuff because art does cut to every social uh, and ethnic background and, and it's a universal thing. When I was doing the dogs, I what I did was when I was just doing them, I wasn't telling anybody. I just wanted to do them because it was like, it was it was something, you know, somehow when you go out and do it, you feel like you did something. Most, you felt like you were making headway. I don't know why, I felt like I was accomplishing something, you know. and. Um, then I saw them leaking into the into you know uh, um, fashion spreads, and they turn up here and there, and they they turn up in slaves in New York, and then they 